before I started living for God, um, mainly I'd just say that I was, I, I mean, I just had a huge void in my heart and in my life, and I just, before I just completely came to Him, just kind of like all out, just like, Lord, I need you. Um, I, I was just searching for a bunch of uh, satisfaction things that just weren't there. And I mean, I, I had always, uh, I, I'd gone to church and uh, grew up in a Christian home, and, um, and and that stuff definitely did help because I because I because I knew the right from wrong. I knew all the the stories from the Bible and all that stuff, and that stuff really is uh, helping me now. But before before I really decided for myself, which is something I think we all have to do to live for Christ. I was just basically empty. One of the main places I search for satisfaction, there are, I mean, there are a couple places because obviously nothing really satisfies you other than the Lord, so you kind of just keep searching, maybe bouncing around to different things. I, I went towards some drugs and things, and I mean, they, they, really, they really never did satisfy and stuff, and I had some bad relationships with girls, and and just uh, just a bunch of bad relationships with uh, friends and everything, just going out on the weekends and doing just stupid stuff that that the world just they the world just finds it so wonderful and just so satisfying, but it's it's not satisfying, and uh, that that's that's what I was searching for with satisfaction. At the lowest point in my life, I just I, I feel like God had shown me just kind of the result of that and I just um, like I said that, that stuff didn't satisfy me but I, I just felt a void I didn't feel like I had any love I didn't I didn't feel like I cared about anybody I, and my mom not I care about her so much and I just dishonoring her day after day lying um, that that stuff just it made me hit rock bottom and say you know if I don't if I don't change, then, you know, I'm just going to be this evil, kind of evil person. And so there, there was a night where I just feel like God showed me that, you know, it's something that I had learned in church and everything, that, that the result of these ways of living is going to be death and potentially hell. There were people that planted seeds in my life, and the, they were seeds that I really needed. And um, honestly, if I if I didn't have those those planted in me, then then at these low points in my life, I wouldn't have anywhere to go to because I wouldn't have anything else other than the things that I was chasing. If back at Heritage Christian I wasn't memorizing Bible verses. Then, then I wouldn't know him. And if my mom didn't show me the love of God, then, then I wouldn't know that love. And where, where else would I be other than maybe still searching? With, with those seeds planted in me, that I, I now knew that I had somewhere to go. And um, the, the Bible verses that I had memorized definitely did help. Uh, there was a night where I just, I was at this just rock bottom, just void of living in death. And there was a night where I just burst into tears and I was like, you know, mom, will you pray with me? Because she had shown me God's love and, and I knew that, you know, I, I had her to, um, to turn to. And even if people don't react, as soon as you show uh, God's love to them, that they'll remember probably they they could they could have someone to turn to in the future and so I just uh, I prayed with her and and I read I read Psalm 13 and it just talked about give light to my eyes O Lord or I will sleep in death and I, and I just knew it and I was it, it's very emotional to to talk about that night because that that was mainly the main transition of my life Since then, um, I, I definitely started 
started living for Jesus, you know, I, I wanted to make this happen. And I mean, there, there are a lot of things that I needed to, uh, to, to, to change at that time. Just completely turning around, you know, and nobody, people were just probably wondering, like, you know, what, what the heck's going on with him? You know, he, he doesn't want to do this anymore, or does he not, does he not like me? And, and there's, there's friends that I used to do really bad things with. And so, at that point, I, I knew that, you know, I needed to, uh, to stay close to God and just keep in his word and pray. And my brother had actually talked to me and he, he was talking to me about all this and about the drugs and everything. And he said, you know, John, you just need to surround yourself with, with godly things, with godly people. And um, I, I started actually paying attention in church as something that is very important. And I just, I, I started to grow mainly. Since then, I just, I, I feel like God's just helped me this whole way. Uh, especially whenever I made the transition, it was really hard, um, because I had to make the transition. And uh, but God helped me that whole way, and it was the actual satisfaction of God that just you know kept me going because it was this is where it is, this is where it's at. It's, um, it's living living for Jesus, and and so since then I've just uh, I've been growing and uh, people have just helped along the way so much speaking life into me and uh, if it wasn't for these people that planted seeds in my life I, I don't know where I'd be at. With this new transition I was encouraged to get involved with the church. Um, I know Christina has encouraged me uh, and a lot of other people uh, to get on the drama team which is something that something that I did and uh, I believe that God's used me in that, and I just, to go from being at such a low place to, you know, wow, God can actually use you. It's, it, it's cool, it really is. And um, also to, now, now I'm on the worship team, and, and I, I just, I'm really happy that God can just help someone, and uh, he, he supplied people along the way to just help me try to get firmly planted. Um, now I'm going off to college. I'm going to Central Bible College. Uh, I'm really happy to go there because it's it's a Bible college. There's going to be lots of Christians. <laughs> it's um, it's exciting, and I just I'm excited to see where God's going to take me. Mrs. Sims, thanks for having the teachers uh, make us kids memorize the Bible verses. Mom, thank you for showing me God's love and for being there for me when I need you the most. Kenny. Thanks for just talking with me and just also being there for me when I needed you. Joey, thanks for being a good Christian friend when I didn't have many other guy friends that were Christians. I was counting on you. 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 I was counting on you.